Hey, Valen here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have seven stretches to increase your overall flexibility. All you need today is a chair, whichever one you have is good for this use. So without further ado, let's get started. Exercise number one, which is a hamstring stretch. So as you're sitting down, you're gonna be sitting close to the edge of the chair. Okay, I'm gonna bring one leg out in front. We only do one leg at a time. We're gonna make sure that knee is nice and straight, toe pointed up towards the ceiling. We're gonna make sure our posture is nice and tall, back straight, brace that core. We're gonna go ahead and bring our hands at our side and we're gonna lean our torso forward without arching our back like so. Nice and straight, leaning forward until we feel a stretch all along the back side of our leg. And you're gonna be holding that position, okay? Keep holding it, and then once you're done, come back up. Okay, remember you do the other side. Just so you know, you can do this exercise standing as well, doing the same thing. Quick preview, same thing, bring your leg out, toe pointed forward, hands at your hips, and you're gonna lean forward. So same thing, standing up and sitting down. So that's number one, on to the second one. Exercise number two, which is a gluteus medius stretch, which is a muscle right here. You notice that when you do this stretch, you'll be like, whoa, I didn't realize I was so tight there. It happens to everybody that I've done it with, so you'll be surprised yourself. So to begin with, we're gonna bring one leg on top of the other. Your ankle is gonna be resting on top of your knee. You're gonna see your knee here, and you're gonna bring it towards your chest. You're gonna give it a nice big hug with both arms. You're gonna bring it in, squeeze, bring it as close to your chest as possible while maintaining good posture. You don't wanna be coming like so, you won't feel it as much. But as you bring your knee closer to yourself, you feel that stretch right there in the side of your hip. And then it's gonna feel really good because a lot of us are tight there. So just remember, do this stretch on the other side because you'll notice that one needs it too. So number two, on to number three. Exercise number three is spinal rotation. So we're gonna be rotating our spine and holding the position. So I like to show my back to, uh, for this exercise, for the stretch, sorry. So I'm gonna come here, bring this behind. So starting off, I'm gonna bring my left hand over to the outside of my right knee. From here, I'm gonna bring my right arm, use the back of the chair, make sure I have good posture, and I'm gonna push into that right knee with my left hand and rotate that spine until you can look behind you. This is a great stretch to do because when we do drive, we look at our blind spot and we need to be able to look so we have good range of motion. So great exercise, sorry, great stretch to do. Just remember, do the other side, right arm on the left hand side, left hand on the back of the chair, and rotate and hold that position. Okay, so that's a great one to do. That's number three, on to number four. Exercise number four is hip flexor stretch. So our hip flexors are right here. I guarantee that yours are probably tight because most of us sit most of the time and those muscles tend to shorten without being stretched and elongated. Um, so without further ado, let's begin. So I'm gonna have a chair here at my side because it is kind of balance oriented. I'm gonna bring one foot in front. The leg I prefer is the leg closest to the chair that's in front. It's my preference, you don't have to do that. I'm gonna bring one leg back. Try to aim for the heels coming off the ground so you can get into a further stretch. From here, you're gonna bend the front knee forward. You're gonna keep that ankle popping up. You're gonna squeeze your bottom and kind of tilt your pelvis in. Okay, from here, you're gonna bring the arms up or just one if you feel like you're losing your balance. And you're gonna hold this position. Okay, if you don't feel it enough in the front of the hip, bend that knee further forward and squeeze your butt tighter. It's the best way to do. I feel it more just by doing those two easy, uh, simple fixes there. Okay, remember, do the other side. <laughs> Don't forget the other leg. Share, share some love. Okay, so that's number four. On to number five. Exercise number five is a quad stretch. Our quads are right here in the front of our thighs. We gotta make sure we stretch those. I find a lot of older adults having the same issue where they're really tight there and they can't really grab their leg back there. Some can if they normally do this stretch, but if not, find a lot of tightness in this area. So we're gonna need a chair for this because we are standing on one leg and balance is very important so we don't fall. So from here, we're gonna shift our weight onto one leg. The knee's gonna be slightly bent. This leg is gonna come back as far as you can. You can grab your pant leg, your sock, whichever you have, aim for the ankle or don't aim for the foot. 
you're just stretching across two joints and the joint doesn't like being stretched like that, especially if you're aiming to stretch here. You want to get an even better stretch that you can bring your foot, your whole leg closer to your bottom here, close to the bottom, and hold that position to where you feel the stretch. Another thing you want to avoid is bringing that leg out like so. You're not really focusing on stretching the thighs. You're also stretching the inner thigh, and that's not what we want. We want to make sure that ankle and leg are really close to the other leg, and you're feeling that stretch. Okay, again, it's a great stretch to do, and remember, do the other side. So on to the next one. Exercise number six is going to be a tricep stretch. So I'm going to be using a kitchen towel for this one, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. I'm going to show you both ways with the kitchen towel and without it. It's slightly easier with the towel because you can pull each way and hold the stretch without having that range of motion. So without further ado, let's begin. So we're going to be stretching our triceps, which is right here. We're going to bring the towel behind our back. We're going to have the other one coming behind our back. We're going to be pulling down, down, going down. We're going to be holding that position and we're going to be feeling the stretch right here on the tricep. Okay, coming down. So a great stretch to feel. Feels pretty good. So we're able to scratch our back instead of using a back scratcher because then we're cheating. <laughs> and that's something I don't, I don't like to promote because I want people to be able to scratch their back on their own. Um, but yeah, this is a great stretch to do to stretch that shoulder and tricep going through this motion. Okay, without it, I'm going to put this on the ground for now. Without it, we're just coming back here, reaching behind our back. Then we're going to bring our other hand and push that tricep back. Okay, in that same position, we're pushing and we have an external force, which is your other hand pushing it back. So those are two ways you can stretch the tricep muscle. So on to the next one. Exercise number seven is an anterior deltoid stretch. So I'm going to show you both ways with the kitchen towel and without it. This one is much easier with the kitchen towel, which is why I'm demonstrating both. Um, this one is pretty challenging to do by yourself with your arm just behind your back. So let's begin. So bringing the towel behind your back, one hand on top, one hand on bottom. This time we're going to be pulling up with our arm. This is going to be feeling really, uh, you're going to be feeling a big stretch right here in the front of the shoulder. You don't want to suddenly pull up really quickly. You're going to cause yourself a lot of pain if you're pretty stiff in that shoulder. So nice and slowly, gradually coming, coming up. Remember, don't, uh, don't pull hard and until you feel a pain you want to make sure there's a slight discomfort but anytime you feel pain you're going too far you should take a break and come back to it later when pain doesn't occur anymore or at all really so again just to show you one last time pulling up and holding that position okay now without the towel say so again you're just going to come here reach far as back as you can your other hand back there and try to touch them together like so if you can't, you're coming in here and you're feeling that stretch there, aim for it. But if not, I suggest a towel, which is much easier to do just for this exercise, uh, stretch, sorry. Um, so yeah, those are the best exercises to do to increase your overall flexibility. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting me know what you like most. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.